Hi, I'm Suzanne Smith, and I'm an art teacher at Calvers High School in Calvers County. And I am here today in our school library, standing in front of an exhibit of my students' artwork. Uh, we've just had an incredible experience. We uh, conducted a week-long block printing workshop that was totally funded and supported by a wonderful group called the Cerndorf Foundation. And uh, the prints behind me that you see are the result of that week-long workshop. Um, we were the recipients of this workshop created by Cindy Cerndorf. Uh, she's the daughter of a very famous block printing watercolor artist named Charles Cerndorf. Um, Charles Cerndorf was a really interesting artist and he had a, a very big connection to our, our area here. He uh, originally was born in Indiana, uh, went to Art Students League, uh, Chicago Art Institute, made work and traveled all over the world, um, but he in, um, eventually ended up teaching at Mills College in the Bay Area and started visiting our little village of Columbia. And um, he fell in love with the images of the people there, the hardworking people, and the sort of ghost town look of the place. He eventually settled in Columbia and had a studio on Main Street where he made his art and sold it. So Cindy was raised um, in this when um, her father died, she inherited his collection of artworks. And rather than putting them away um, someplace not seen, she decided to bring them out and share them with high school students. So a few years ago, she cashed in her 401k plan and set up a nonprofit organization to go out to high schools and share her father's legacy and teach students to make block prints in the style that her father did. What was so important about Charles Cerndorf is that he was a WPA artist, Works Project Administration um, artist under Franklin Delano Roosevelt. And this was when Roosevelt um, created jobs for people during the Great Depression. And many artists were hired. As a matter of fact, there were 225,000 artworks made during this time. And Charles Cerndorf created block prints that talked about the Great Depression and the suffering that the people were doing at that time. His works um, are really interesting. They're made from block prints, wood block prints, and the, he's considered a social realist, and he talked um, with sort of political commentary. And we actually have some of his original prints here to share with you today. That's what was so exciting is that Cindy brought out original artworks from 1934 to my classroom for my students to to see and feel and touch. And what she asked our students to do that I thought was really important was to think about their lives today and the kind of issues they're facing. And there were many similarities to the Great Depression. My students talked about homelessness, having their houses foreclosed on, their parents losing their jobs, not having enough money, worrying about the high cost of college and are they gonna be able to attend. And she asked them then to think about a solution to the problem. So rather than just sort of whining and complaining about everything that's wrong in the world, Cindy asked the students to come up with a solution and make artwork about that solution. And that's what you see behind you here today, are my students talking about their own lives and coming up with solutions. And I tell my students, I think what's so important about this is just as Charles Cerndorf made art that now stands today to tell us about the people of his time, my students make artwork that will tell future generations about who we are as a people. Art reflects culture, it reflects our times, and it can be beautiful pictures that you hang on the wall and enjoy, but it also can be important statements about our times, about what people are going through, and certainly the artwork behind me today reflects some very serious issues that our students are talking about.